a really high roll. Um, get a low roll, please. This is not good. Fuck is that that last game annoyed the shit out of me. It's because that's such a strange he was knockoff surf hurricane Bellopper. And he was was Ferrothorn without leech heat, bro. That was so fucking annoying. Oh, so I kinda need to get back from that game with 142. I'm never I can never get that back from one game. This is so fucking annoying. It is what it is, guys. Um, we're gonna leave this. Guys, says, this guy has three dragons. With a Conkeldra and a Rotomin hiding there, I believe. Maybe I catch uh, one of these off guard, but... In this game, um, if I get rid of Scissor and Weavile, Icicle Spear looks really cool. But Foul Play on the hand looks really cool as well. Future side from Rotomin and getting in Mianxiao with Close Combat can be really cool as well. So I have a bunch of options to play around our opponent. But man, the other game, that was super annoying. <laughs> Doing is just gonna Volt Switch here. I don't want to bring in Gliscor though. Um, I think I definitely want to preserve Gliscor. Um, I'm just gonna do the Embryon play. Um, if he tricks me, I need to keep this. I need to keep the Assault Vest on Mianxiao anyway. And even if I'm choice cards, I can still fall play his team. So Okay, he goes into Conkeldar. I don't I'm I'm always making the slow bro play first, uh, just to find out if he's bulk up. Because if he ain't bulk up the next time I can just protect. Uh, but I don't know if he has Stunner Punch on this. He doubles into High Dragon, but that's completely fine. Um We'll find out if he's choiced on this guy. Because I have a me and Chao uh, sitting here. Eagerly waiting. And he just goes for Dark Bills. Okay. Hurts me too. Come on, man. Um, just gonna throw off a knockoff here. As he goes Garchomp. Rocky Helmets. Okay. It's annoying. However. I'm gonna go into my glide score and uh, we're gonna set up hazards as well. If he wants to set up hazards, then we're, do we're doing the same. I can also go for the toxic here, but he has two absorbers, and just getting up the rocks can help me a lot. And he's just gonna drag until trying to get me into Weavile, I guess. He actually he actually does it. That's insane. I think it's fair, uh, just going for Icicle Spear, even if uh, Rodom comes in. Um, I want to find out if this is leftovers. Plus, the moment I get up Spikes, it's going to be really good for me too. I can definitely see him Volt Switching against me. Uh, what I'll do is... Um, I'm going to go into Shao here. This gives me offensive pressure against this team. Um, if he does decide to Volt Switch instead of having Umbrian in. As he tries to go for the Hydro Pump. Doesn't work for him. And I don't know if he wants to get knocked off there, so I'm just gonna U-turn. Like, I'm sure you don't want to get knocked off, but... I might be wrong. No, never mind, he wanted to get knocked off. It's okay. I have to keep in mind that Garchomp could be uh, toxic as well. I'm just gonna wish here. It's really nice that he missed the Hydro Pump. Unlike the other guy that just hits every freaking attack. He had every Hydro Pump on me. <laughs> if he only missed one, I would have won that game because I would have had enough HP. <clears throat> Let's see if we see leftovers. I, I think he's choiced. So what I'll do is I'll go Gly Square. Um, Dark Bulls was a crit that way too little, so I think he's choice Scarfed. Getting uh, my Gliscor in here. Because he might just U-turn on me. And 
That way, um, yeah, exactly. I have a pretty good position there. Because I'll be full HP and John Cena comes in. Um, get this guy. I do get this guy back to full HP. He gets the burn damage. The only reason he would bring this in instead of Rotom is if he has Ice Punch. So I'm just going to go into my Slow Bro. And yeah, it's only scary if he has Thunder Punch because I should be able to take two facades. And even if, because I get leftovers. Hmm, that's actually a roll. It's actually a roll. A really high roll. Um, get a low roll, please. This is not good. That's actually not good. Am I losing now? Maybe I should have just earthquaked, but... Last score would have been nice against Garchomp. That's why. I'm clicking that facade there, though. It is what it is. Um, I'm gonna knock... I don't know if I knock him out, by the way, but... Get off my roost there. He uses Dragon Tail. I'm just gonna Ice Beam him. And I think the way to win is uh, by using Gliscor's um, spikes to pressure my opponent. Hey, okay, Dragon Tails me out. I don't lose too much, but he dies. Oh, I don't get Dragon Tilt out. Okay. He's forced to go High Dragon. I'm not sure if he wants to you turn at this position, but I'll make this play regardless. As he does Dragon Pulse, which should not do it, kill me. And a close combat there. I have Rocks up. And I don't want him do double Dragon Pulsing. Because that would actually be really bad for me. He decides to go into his Rotom, which I'm faster. Faster than him. I assume that's a Spadef Rotom. Because we were faster, we already confirmed it in, in the beginning. Now I'll U-turn. And positioning-wise, I'm going into my Glide score uh, in the sense that if Conkelder comes in, I can at least Earthquake him. Because I need to try to weaken him. Uh, the spikes are whatever. But I need to weaken this guy. So uh, we're just going to Earthquake here. I know, he, I know he most likely has Ice Punch. I'm just gonna Roost there. A Dragon comes in. gonna make the display because again if he u-turns doesn't really matter i'm just a bit afraid of um scissor now at this point 33 i'm at 36 i'm gonna close combat again knocking this out It's a choice card for gone. Um, if Conkelder comes in, I'm, I'm just going to stay in there. Um, I'm just going to stay in against whatever he brings in. Yanchao's job was to get rid of Hydreigon. Yeah, against this too. Wonder, um, do I...
It's a really tough one, but maybe I can knock out Kokaura with foul play. He's live for attack and actually dire. I really hope it's acrobatics. Hold up. Unless this guy has speed on him. I think we're actually in a really perfect position now. Cool. So he, he dies. <clears throat> and I'm sure that I kill Conkeldor from there. But I think the better play is to roost there. In case I don't kill him. Because I would have trouble against... Oh, he mock punched me. That's awesome. So Dragonite coming through for us. Really great. <clears throat> and my opponent decides to forfeit. Okay, we got back at... <laughs> we got back some points. At least we're back in 856. If we can get a similar opponent, uh, we get most of our points back uh, from that unfortunate loss against that other guy. But we'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. A really interesting last game. Dragonite really saved our hides there. <laughs> Surprised that he switched uh, his scissor out when he was at plus one. Uh, but yeah, looking at this, his team. So we're going to face like a full stall team. Uh, but he doesn't have any offensive pressure uh, as long as I activate my orb on uh, Gliscor. So that's something we we gotta look for. We gotta look for, but um, I think lead wise, uh, I'm just gonna do the slow bro lead. So the mission should be getting up my uh, hazards, uh, getting up my orb. There's a bunch of flying types, but they are not. They're not. Not, they're not doing well with my Dragon Knight, except for Mian Shao. But if I get up my max hazards, then Dragon Knight should be able to pressure his team a lot. So we just uh, we just look to go for that for that route. And yeah, I will I will be losing leftovers against this. So what I'm gonna try to attempt is trying to get off a Skull Burn because he's obviously gonna knock me off here. But his stall team is really slow, so... <laughs> oh, actually U-turns immediately. Let's see. What am I scalding here? Rotom Wash. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. No burn. He didn't want to knock me up there. Which is fine. I guess the ones I can do this shit against. Okay, that's for a wisp. I mean, got me and Shao. Which doesn't have a purpose in this game. It doesn't break anything. The only thing Mian Shao does is going for. going for knockoffs. But it's it's mandatory that I activate the orb uh, on Gliscor because it's then I can do something against the Mungus against Rotom. And I'm just gonna U-turn here to be faster. Oh, he just he's he's running speed on his. Okay, that's good to know. He's running quite some speed on, on his den, um, but I can go for my um, for my own Gliscor, activate my orb. And what I can actually do here is attempt to beat him 1v1 with my, uh, with my slow bro. Basically use future side into scald. Because he might just try to Swords Dance up on me. Oh, that's fine too. 
Okay, did I already reveal protect? I did. I'm gonna protect her anyway. I wanna know if he has toxic on this. He's using U-turn. I don't think he has toxic, so what I can do is just go for the future side. Gonna be a long game, of course. Uh, but I just have to kill one of the guys. For example, if I kill Skarmory, his team will fall apart. Against my Mian Chao. Mian Chao plus Dragonite. So I just go directly into. I don't. I don't want to waste my protect here. Uh, he has nothing that can kill me from full anyway. Goes for pump, and now I can start using knockoff here, dissipating Mandibus coming in. And Mandibus doesn't have leftovers anymore, so that's pretty awesome. Every time I damage him, uh, basically something will happen. I, I'm gonna U-turn there. And... Now that he doesn't have leftovers, every time I make him... I, every time I force him to use Roost, for example, on a U-turn here with, with my Rocky Helmet, um, he he's forced to click Roost at certain points, because otherwise Mandibus is gonna die, especially if I get up rocks. So, this is pretty nice. And yeah, there's, there isn't really anything that threatens my Dragonite uh, that much. Because, again, um, I, I, will, I will always go into my um, Mian Shao against this guy. If he clicks Will-O-Wisp on me, that's fine. Like, we really don't give a shit. He clicks Volt Switch, which is fine. I literally have Mian Shao for Rotom. He already revealed Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, I'm not gonna break his team with this Mian Shao. <coughs> his Mian Shao have my Gliscor core. I'm gonna break a sturdy here. Oh, if we go, if we both go for max hazards, he has more flying types than me. I'll just go into my Dragon Knight and Defog, I think. Oh, it's toxic, okay. It's a bit annoying. That's really annoying, actually. <laughs> okay. I thought something like that might happen, but... I'm gonna roost there, on the, the volt switch. I really need to kill that Rotom somehow. But it's Toxic Skarmory. Uh, I wonder if he has any attacks then. Huge frame that he got the toxic off. <clears throat> but if Glass, if Skarmory doesn't have any attacks, then um, I could potentially just win with Slowbro somehow. He leads up with this. Okay, my my Miancha was actually faster than him. So I'm gonna go for the toxic here. Because I need I actually need his Rotom gone and then my um like him hydroing me unless he's max special attack. Doesn't really mean too much for me. And I know I can always heal off on his Skarmory. Let's go into this. Now that I got the toxic on him, um dealing with the Rotom is gonna be much easier. Because I'm gonna try to win with my um I'm gonna win, try to win with my uh, with my Weavile by getting rid of this guy. That was most, this, this is most likely Rocky Helmet or Shed Shell, Skarm. 
I will always shoot in there. <clears throat> yeah, it was Rocky Helmet. Um, so I think it's just time to uh, get in Weaver, uh, get in Gliscor and just start setting up hazards. Because if he roars me into my um, Dragon Knight, if he roars me into my Dragon Knight, um, I just roost. He's gonna hard swap there. Get up my rocks. And rocks are pretty decent for me too. So always go this. Then if I knew of course that he had toxic. But he was using he's using using an Among Us as well. I I will always knock off there. He, d he obviously doesn't want to get knocked. But it's it's facade slow it's facade glide score, so I can always just uh get this guy in. Cause even if he gets to plus um plus two he cannot two kill me. Let's see how greedy he gets. You can go to plus four, but uh, my skull will go off. And future side hits his whole team as well. Because then he's forced to go Mandy Buzz. Which means I can go into my Gliscor. Oh, Gliscor's quite low. I need to start healing him up. Um, yeah, I don't really have a wish opportunity. He does go for Earthquake, but that's not going to do it KO, like I said. And I would just go for the slack off there. He basically did, didn't accomplish anything there. And uh, I'll try to protect there because if, if he goes Mandy Buzz, it's fine. He decides to defog for me, which helps me too. I'm gonna go this. Because he needs to roost. And I'm just clicking toxic. Because foul play doesn't kill me. He goes for Brave Bird, but now I got the Toxic off, which is amazing. He crits me? Come on, man. Are you serious, bro? Are you actually serious? I should not be in foul play range anyway. I'm gonna Stealth Rock here. As long as I keep going slow, bro, against him, uh, we should be fine. Because even if he sword stances against me, it doesn't accomplish anything. Is that plus four? I still do. Uh, he still doesn't do it, kill me. He goes for another one, so I just get future cypress scald off. So he's really going for it then. Okay, that actually does a bit more, but it is fine.
I get in Dragon Eye there. If he facades me, he's gonna take Rakia on this future side. <laughs> and that goes through Protect, so that's why the future side plus Skull combo he just does really well into that guy. And with, with this guy in... Any forfeits. Awesome. But that's the full stall play, full stall team gone. Um, I'm gonna leave the rest for the next video. I'm gonna play a bit more. I'm trying to hit 857 again. So we'll, yeah, I'm gonna end up this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Um, if you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out my Patreon. And yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Peace out.